Dude, and there's Jesus. Okay, what do you see now? We're going to say I'm coming around. Can look at me. You look awesome. Oh. You are so pretty, spiritually inside and out. Wow, oh. what a holy spectacle you have. <laughs> <laughs> holy spectacles, Batman. Okay. You are beautiful, Joy. Everyone agrees. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I like to receive that. Thank you. See? Give and receive. And you are beautiful yourself. <laughs> okay. okay. Right. We have something from Joe here. Our guest host tonight will be Joe. Okay. He said, Pope Benedict XVI once said, that he saw the church return to her roots, reduce in number, and be underground in some places as she started. I think so. I think that a lot of that's happening it's right happening now. It's happening right now. I think that, uh, <clears throat> especially in Canada, I have some priest friends that, um, that have to do what they have to do to feed their sheep. I think, um, <clears throat> I think you know, and, and it's a very, very, because you don't ever want to go against your bishop, you know. Even if you have a bishop that's not good at all, um, you you want that's one of the signs that, that you're on the right path is you, you can be obedient and submit to an authority. Um, but at the same time, I know priests who bishops were like wink wink, do what you got to do, right? So they said. These are the rules, but left a lot of loopholes. Mm -hmm. And then went like this. In the most straightest way you could imagine. It was, it was very legit. And they were able to, and I experienced mess, in big crowds, in private houses. If that's not a refuge, I don't know what is. Okay? You got a big place. You've got families, unmasked, unafraid participating in worship and the Lord, singing songs of praise, adoration for 10 to 12 hours. How is that not? And if, you know, the police were to find out about it, they would have, at that time, they would have probably broke it up. They probably said, out! And then, uh, you know, um, there, was a, there, was a, there was actually a, a friend of mine in Canada. He gave me a tape, a, a, something to watch, and it was a commentary on this Polish pastor. Now, he's not Catholic, but he's from Poland. And the Canadian police came in. And you've probably seen it because it went viral all over the Internet. And they, they wanted him to, they wanted to, to come in and disrupt the, his service. Because it's not a mass, it's a service. Um, because they weren't wearing masks and they weren't social distancing. There, there, there was too many There's people too there. Many people in there. And so they were br trying to break it up. And they says, you don't have any war warrant? Out, you Nazi Gestapo, out. And the commentator who was talking about this pastor was saying, this is not the gospel message. Gospel says to love our enemies and that we're supposed to respect authority. And that, that's all true. And he goes, and he's, he's yelling out slurs about, you know, this racism and calling people Nazis. That's just not Christ-like. And, and, uh, and I'm going to tell you this. I, I was so upset at this commentator, not at the pastor. And, you know, the pastor isn't even Catholic. But if half of our bishops had the, the oomph that this guy did, Function. we would be in a better place. If half. If they just have half the courage that this Protestant pastor had in respect for God and his people, then we wouldn't be in this place. We, there, there would have never been any closed doors. But because we have a lack of leadership, a lack of, of, of uh, courage, you're seeing the, the clergy just fold up and give in, and they're afraid, right? That's, we not, we're not to be afraid. How many times is it said in the Bible? 365 times, it, that's the bare minimum low, and that's one for every day. Be not afraid. There's over 365 times in the Bible where it says, be not afraid, because fear is of the enemy. 
fear is, is not how we were made. We were made for greatness. And this pastor who, who was legitimately protecting his sheep, he was being a shepherd. And he was calling the tree by its fruit. He's from Poland. I'm so certain he knows what Nazis are. He knows who the Gestapo is. And did Jesus, he did not hold his tongue back when he called the Pharisees, you brood of vipers. Were they really vipers? No, he was calling them out as he saw it. So this pastor is doing the same thing. He's protecting his sheep. He's telling the brood of vipers, the Nazis, the Gestapo, get off holy ground. That's what a shepherd's supposed to do. And if you're not doing that and you've got a, a, a bunch of sheep, then you need a you need a wake up call. And maybe this is it. Maybe the, maybe you need to see how a Catholic priest is supposed to be by viewing a Protestant pastor. Right? Now this commentator went on and on about how how he's a this 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 certain pastor is a danger to the world because he's talking about the second coming of Christ. And I'm going to tell you this. If you're not talking about the second coming of Christ, you are the false prophet because he is coming. Jesus is on his way and you need to prepare. That's end of story. Anybody tell you something different, don't listen to them. If they think you're supposed to be lukewarm and stay at home and not worry about it and continue on your sin, well, then you're going to hell. That's what the apostles preached about. They preached about the second coming of Christ, and that's why you needed to convert. Right. Right so from there. Not, right not, right, not, right from the resurrection, we should be preaching about the second coming of Christ. Nonstop, full speed ahead. Full speed. That's what Pentecost is all about. You know, you, you need, whatever we're doing, we need to do more. It's not enough. It's just not enough. We need to be closer to Jesus. We need to love more. We need to love our neighbor. And we don't need a big warning. Well, it's funny this, uh, you know, as I... That. As our Lord took me out for a little nap, uh, I was actually getting that revelation of, you know, the coming of Christ, but not not on the doomsday kind of doomsday come, come uh, like a scenario, but actually more uh, preparing our heart.